Good morning. I'm going to teach you how to set up a Google Plus Hangout, which is a hangout on air. This would be a live broadcasted event. This is different than just setting up a spontaneous hangout with a few people. So first we're going to do is go out to Google Plus, and in the left where you see the menu, the first thing you need to do is create an event. We're going to make this event in just a few minutes, which will allow us allow me to show you how to actually embed it and um, make the whole thing live. So I'm going to say create event. Here's the title. You can change the theme here. This is where you would go find your own upload actually. And then I'm going to find this image that I have for all my hangouts. I've created one standard bumper for it so that it'll work for all of them and consistently brand my events. I'll get fancier later, maybe add a movie or something in there. I saw somebody else do that. Here is the event for Monday. We're going to change the time, though, to be something in just a few minutes. So we're going to say it's at 9.30. And actually, I'm going to put a little bit later. We'll see 9.40. Add an end time if you'd like to warn people how long this thing will last. Otherwise, they might think, oh, how long is this conversation going to go? So we're just going to say it's going to go until 10 o'clock. Under here with Event Options, Advanced, you want this to be a Hangout on Air. Show More Options. This will come to use in just a little bit. Once we have our YouTube link that we'll be getting in a few minutes, I'll show you where that goes. I can add all the details for the event. This is where I would talk about you know, how great this is going to be. Our speaker is fantastic, is so experienced. bullet points. This is a great place to copy and paste. If you want people to go to a specific page to watch this event, I have a specific page for my live events when I do have them so that I can market these events regularly at the same URL and people know constantly where to go to see what's going on right now. This is also great for folks that might be on your list that aren't necessarily used to logging into Google Plus or even YouTube. When this event is live, they'll be able to see it live on Google Plus in the Hangouts on Air and they'll be able to see it with a 20 second delay on YouTube. In both places they're able to submit comments and questions. This can be really handy. Now I'm going to invite some people. I'm actually just going to invite myself for a moment just because it's easier for this demonstration. But you can add it to your circles your clients, whatever you want, whoever you want to send this event to, or you can even make it public. I usually make them private because I don't want anyone just joining in. I'll send an invitation, and now I'm ready to go. So my event is ready. This is my test event for Monday. So now over here, since it's so close to the time, let's pretend that, oh, we've been promoting this event, we've sent out the link to our event, this is the event link up here. That's what you promote or else your live page, whichever one you want to promote. You don't promote the actual YouTube location that we'll have or other things. You want it here so that when you put details about the event you can add it here. So I'm going to click on Hangouts on Air. Let's see what's coming up. This is what's on air right now. Please. So you can see the, all the events that are going on at this moment from around the world. But we're about ready to start our Hangout test. So we're going to say start a Hangout on Air. And it's asking what I want to call it. We're going to call it Monday Morning Test. This is where you'll add the people who responded that want to be a part of your event. Maybe you invited 400 people and only 60 of them responded, or maybe 10 responded. I'm going to suggest that you create a circle from those that said, hey, I want to do this, and you make a specific circle just for that. So we're going to look at all of our circles. See, this was one I created for a, hang for a Hangout on Air event. Just five people had responded to it, and they're the ones I wanted to participate in my panel discussion. So we can pretend we picked a circle that we had created from this event but I'm only going to send it to me because it's easier that way. <laughs> Start a Hangout on Air. 
I recommend that you do this early on. So get here about 15, 20 minutes early to start your hangout on air. And then you send your invitation to your folks so they can also get ready. This is where you do your sound check to make sure that headphones and speakers and things are working so you can hear everybody. You also want to make sure that everybody has their bright, shining faces. They're not wearing their pajamas or anything embarrassing like that. You can see up at the top, it says prepare, preparing broadcast. I could start it right now, but I'm not ready to. But this is where I get that embed code. Let me show you. See this YouTube link? I'm just select it. So you select it and copy. I'm going to go back to my event. Go back to my event. And I'm going to edit this event. I click on it. I scroll down to details. From the drop down, I say edit event. Remember that URL we just copied? We're going to put it right here. Save. So now my event, if people are coming here to join the event as we're prepping and checking the sound and things, they're going to see this right here. It's not quite ready. It's waiting. So there's nothing to play yet. Watch. Because I'm not broadcasting. Starting soon. So it gives you this please stand by. So I'll go back to my Hangouts on Air. Where'd that window go? <laughs> Hello. Um, so we have that event ready to go now. Now, if I wanted to embed this into my page on my own website, the live page, this is the code that I would get. I would copy that. I would copy that embed code. This happens to be a WordPress site. And right here, I would paste it over my previous event that I had. Since this is just a test one, I really don't want it to show. But this is the code that we just copied. Now I have two things going. They can watch either one if they want. So that was the embed code. So I copied that, and I'm ready to go. I have that launched. So if I'm promoting my live page, people can go there and click on it and say, oh, that's this page. She always has something going on on Mondays because they're part of my regular group. Or they would be able to catch it even on YouTube or Google+. Here on my event, they could see it. They would also be able to see a Hangouts on Air as one of the live events happening once I press Start Broadcast. Once I press this up here, it will start the broadcast. And then it goes live on YouTube, on Google+, and on my live page, all at the same time. But at real time, 100%, is only on Google+. As you're going along with your event, you can even invite people to join you as you go. You mention them in a comment, so they would see it and go, oh, I want to be part of that. And they can get added in at the same time and be live. An event can only be a Hangout On Air live if you've invited at least one person. You can't just be up here with a monologue. You have to invite someone. So let's just do a test really quick. We're going to say Start Broadcast. Here we go. It's warning you. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. And this is starting here. And our Hangout is saying it's ready. Here we go. Posting, posting, posting. Now it's going. If I click End Broadcast, that will stop the live share. Now this one isn't going live because I invited myself. Had I invited a friend that would test this with me, it would show. But because nobody's accepted the invitation, and I only have one computer up right now, I can't have it going. But this is where it would be. Okay. So, my mistake. I didn't have to have anybody accept. You just have to invite somebody. So it is playing there, and it's working fine. Now let me show you a couple of the things you can do. Because nobody's accepted the you can click on screen share. It was going. Um, you can mute people. Sometimes, you know, if you're, what if you have a cough and you're participating in an event? Hit mute. Be polite, please. You're going to want to turn off your camera if you have to go to the restroom or step away because it's embarrassing when you're hosting one of these events to see an empty chair there. So remember that you are on camera all the time down below. Now, I bet some of you have seen those cool little strap things down there. This is Google Hangout Toolbox. It's opening my toolbox. And see this one right here with the little head? This is where you can put your name or how people can reach you for Twitter. Or I can choose a logo and a color. 
kind of partial to this yellow green. That's usually what I do. And then my logo, I have one actually created just for Hangouts on Air. Here's my Hangout logo. You can see I have a lot of extra space around my logo, and that's because Hangouts on Air makes it round. Let me show you that. It makes it round, so it would look kind of silly if it was just trimmed. So I do this, and then I'm going to turn this on. And now you can see my logo, it's rounded. It fits nicely there. You can also do a custom overlay and some other items. There's some um, stock photography companies that actually have little movies and things that have some movement to them for the lower third. So this is always referred to as the lower third. It's kind of just the identifying strap that goes across everything. There we go. So you can see how to reach me. You don't have to mess with this to see what you like, but again, this is part of the prep before the Hangout. You want to have all this set up for your guests and everybody, have your logo ready, have everything ready to go. So once that's done, then we can switch back over to our chat. You want the chat handy so that anybody that's participating in your event can ask you questions. I think that's enough to get us started, but I hope that was helpful. If not, let me know. Susan at SusanFinch.com and I'll help you the best way I can. Um, for my clients, you all get a half hour for free. I will help you walk through this because I think it'd be a lot of fun if you started using this on your websites. And now I just ended the broadcast, so we're all done. Broadcast has been successfully terminated. And what that does, though, it will create a YouTube video in my library that I can delete if I want. If it didn't turn out so great, I'll just delete it because I have a lot of blank space here, so I'll probably edit it, actually, and then delete it. Remember, there are, you know, if you have dead space and you're looking for files... You want to have everything ready ahead of time before you work on these things. Otherwise, you end up with a lot of dead air, and it can be embarrassing. So thanks for joining me. Bye.